What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and recently I've been getting some messages at the channel asking me to put together a beginner's build for the Memento backpack. Now I know a lot of people have had this bag for a while as it was a guaranteed drop in one of the previous seasons. However, there also happen to be a lot of gamers who have finally gotten the bag for the first time and they've been asking for a really simple build to put together so they can get used to it. Therefore, that's exactly what I'm showing you today. Now if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. And remember, we are currently having a giveaway for an Xbox Series S to enter. All you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter and the winner will be announced on April 4th of this year. So one thing I mentioned at the beginning of every build video I put together is I want to remind you this is just a template. This is one of so many different ways you can run with a build like this and the most important thing is take your time and truly make a build your own. Now I also want to make sure I mention that this is a build truly designed for new and returning players. I've done different variations of this build before but the main reason I put it together this way is for the people who are not used to run and gun builds at all and you want the easiest way to transition into gameplay like this because for a lot of gamers out there, they're still using either a skill build or let's say a medium ranged rifle AR build and they wanna jump into a gameplay that's a little bit quicker paced, but they're not sure how to do it. As always, I'm starting off with a little bit of gameplay footage, then we're going to get into the build itself. And then at the end of the video, there'll be a little more footage. And at that point, I also like to pass along a few tips to new and returning players, which should hopefully help you get started anytime you're trying out a new build. As far as the gameplay is concerned, you can see I'm on heroic difficulty at the American History Museum and you are just shredding through NPCs. I started this off I think at the Federal Emergency Bunker and anytime you're within close proximity to NPCs you're absolutely melting them so this build is so much fun to use. One more thing I'd like to mention really quick is that if you do not have the Memento backpack as yet I will put a link to a farming video I put together in the description down below. I definitely recommend checking it out and while this may be a bit of a grind to get it is definitely worth your time. Starting off with a special I'm using Gunner so I get that extra armor on kill. It does come in handy for players that are getting used to a build like this. However, Firewall is also another great option. You get some damage bonus as well. So again, it is truly up to you. I recommend try out each one and see what works best for your gameplay. My primary weapon for the build is a Vector SMG. I absolutely love this weapon so much. You can see I'm rolling with the Talent Killer, where killing an enemy with a critical hit grants 40% crit hit damage for 10 seconds. Now for those of you that happen to have the named SMG The Dark Winter, I recommend using that because with that weapon you're going to get an extra 10% crit hit damage during those 10 seconds, so again that can definitely help. Moving on to my secondary, you can see I'm running with the Scorpio Shotgun, again one of my favorite weapons in the game. Now, if you don't have this, I will also leave a link to a farming video on how to get it in the description down below. And as we move on to the sidearm, to be honest, it's a card 45. I really don't use it that often with this build. Those two primary weapons are really getting the job done. Now, moving on to the gear itself, you can see I'm running four Hunter's Fury, one Sokolov, and the Memento Backpack. Starting off with the mask, it's the first of four pieces of the Hunter's Fury gear set, and we're running four pieces, so that way we do get all of the gear set bonuses. You can see here the two pieces bonus gives you 15% shotgun and SMG damage. The three piece bonus gives you 20% armor on kill and 100% health on kill. And the four piece is Apex Predator. Enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff, amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorients other enemies within five meters and amplifies weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds, stacking up to five times. Next, we have the body armor, which is the one piece of Sokolov. So we get that 10% SMG SMG damage bonus and you can see I'm running with the talent intimidate while you have bonus armor it amplifies your total weapon damage by 35% to enemies within 10 meters now you do have other options here but in my opinion the reason why this is such an effective talent for a build like this is because you're always going to be stacking that bonus armor you get it from your specialization you get it from the gear set and you get it from the trophies you collect with the memento backpack Moving on to the holster, the knee pads, and the gloves, they are the three remaining pieces of the Hunter's Fury gear set. Now I'm trying to stack crit hit chance and crit hit damage everywhere I can. Now when it comes to my core attribute, you can see on my holster I've switched it to armor so that way I have a little more survivability with this build. Now as I said earlier, this is where you want to find a balance my friends. So right now 1.1 is good for me. You may need 1.3, you may need 1.5, you could even go under a million armor. Again, try out different variations and see which works 
works best for your gameplay. Last but not least, we have the Memento Backpack, which is the focal point of this build. And the reason this is such a highly effective piece of gear is because of the talent kill confirmed, where enemies you kill drop a trophy on death. Collecting trophies provides both a short-term and a long-term buff, the first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped in the last 10 seconds. They go on to then show you the actual percentages of weapon damage, bonus armor, and skill efficiency you're going to gain, and they also mention for every trophy collected you gain an additional 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1% armor regeneration for 300 seconds. Now for those of you that do not have the memento as yet, in the meantime I recommend using a second piece of Sokolov. Off, it's going to give you extra crit hit damage bonus and I recommend using the talent Adrenaline Rush which will give you that bonus armor when you're close to NPCs which will directly coincide with the talent on your chest. As far as my skills are concerned, I'm using the Crusader Shield in case things get sideways, which they always seem to do in this game, and I'm also using the Assault Drone because it is a great distraction to NPC and puts out damage as well. Now at this point in the video, I'd like to pass along a few tips to new and returning players which should hopefully help you get started anytime you're trying out a new build. And one recommendation I always pass along is go to a mission or control point that you're comfortable with, that way you can see how the build truly responds to your gameplay. Now the key is this. When you're doing that, you want to try it out as a solo player, and if you happen to use random matchmaking, or let's say you run in a group, you want to try it in a group as well. And the reason for that is the build may have a different variant for each way you run, so it's important to try each out, that way you know exactly what you're getting into with the build. So to give you a quick example, as I mentioned earlier, this build is sitting at about 1.1 million armor for its base. However, when I roll with a group, I usually bump that up to 1.3 or 1.5, because remember, there's enemy scaling, so it is going to take a little bit longer to take out the NPC, so you want to make sure, like I said, you plan accordingly. Most of you know by now that one of my favorite aspects about putting these build videos together is the amazing family we have at this channel. So if you have any tips or tricks or different ways you want to run with this, please let me know in the comments section down below as the main goal is to try to help out in any way we can. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are so many different ways you can run with a build like this. However, the reason I recommend using Hunter's Fury is because of Apex Predator because it literally makes the NPCs flop around like a fish, so if you're new to this type of build, it is really going to help you out. With all that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this up. However, as always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for the amazing support you've shown this channel and remind you, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, please let me know in the section down below. Like I said at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.
More contact. All clear. You just recovered intel that's gonna be a whole lot of help to Odessa in the short term, but to all of us in the long run. You also effectively put this hellhole out of commission. 